spice lamb cutlets with pickled carrots. It is delicious. We're going to start with our pickled carrots. So you'll need two carrots for this recipe peeled and we need to make a pickling liquid. Now this is a super fast recipe to do and in fact you can do this stage at least a week ahead of time. That's why I love pickles so much. So some coriander seeds, I'm just going to pop them onto my board and with the back of my knife just crush them just slightly. We just want to release as much flavour out of them as possible. So just by doing this we're going to get that beautiful perfume. It's funny because coriander seed has a very different taste to coriander as in the herb. It has a wonderful lemony nutty flavour to it and I love to add it to my pickling liquids. So into a pot along with some caster sugar, some water and some white vinegar. Now you want to just give that a stir and dissolve that sugar and just bring it to the boil. You want it to be nice and hot as we add it into our carrots. Now for the carrots I like to use a peeler. This is to julienne them and you can by all means do this with a knife but I always find this is a lovely little trick to demonstrate how fine you can get your carrots. So peeling and the next side peel, so nice big ribbons and if you like you could actually pickle this as is or you can finely chop them. So next you want to gather your carrot pieces and this is like I said it's not essential but it's a great way to practice your knife skills and then we're just going to cut the ribbons in half and then each bundle we're just going to finely slice into julienne and you'll see how we've got small little pieces. This is not only for presentation but for texture and the finer it is the more flavour is going to get into those pickles from the pickling liquid. So I'm going to pop that into a bowl and I'll add one long red chilli. I'm just going to finely cut it into rounds. Okay, carrots looking good. I've just chopped up my chilli. They can go in together and my pickling liquid is boiling and it's reduced a little. So I'm just going to pour that directly over the carrots and the chilli. And we'll let all those flavours mingle. Now, if you do this ahead of time, pop it into an airtight container once it's cooled down and it will last for one to two weeks in the fridge if it's sealed well. Okay, let's pop that over there and let's get on to our lamb cutlets. Nice, fat, juicy lamb cutlets. Now I'm going to cook my lamb cutlets in my Smart Grill. This grill is fantastic because it actually senses how thick the meat is and cooks it to your liking. Who would have thought? So I'm going to preheat my grill and I'm going to set mine to the beef function because it cooks roughly around the same time. I'm going to press OK and it's going to start to preheat. Now I want to add some flavour to our lamb cutlets, so some olive oil so the flavours can stick to it, a small drizzle and a good pinch of salt and some dukkah. This one has lemon and herbs through it, sesame seeds, lots of nuts and spices, just what you want with your lamb. I'm going to give that a little dusting on both sides, picking up all of that dukkah. It smells fantastic. Always remember as kids we'd fight over the last lamb cutlets because it was only on special occasions we'd have it. Even these days, special occasion, but gee, when they are cooked to perfection, they are just the best thing ever. And now that this is heated, we can insert our little lamb chops. So you can hear how hot that grill is. And the best thing about grilling like this is it's got top and bottom heating, so it's going to take less time to cook. Done. Close that. And once that lid is closed, it starts to calculate the thickness, so now we'll just leave the grill to do its work and cook it to perfection. While that's happening, I'm just going to get a really quick sauce together, a yoghurt and tahini sauce. In a bowl, we'll add some Greek style yoghurt. And some tahini. 
And as you mix this, it'll thicken up significantly. So I like to thin it out with some lemon juice. So squeeze of lemon and we'll squeeze the juice in. Half a lemon should be plenty because these are super juicy. Also, a pinch of salt. And that is the sauce for our lamb. Okay, sauce is done. We'll just wait for that lamb to finish cooking and we'll plate up. Okay, my lamb has cooked to perfection. Medium is what I'm after and we can plate up. So I'm going to grab my beautiful tahini and yogurt dressing and pop that onto a plate. And we'll just spread that out. I love putting the sauce on the plate first. So when you do pick up that lamb cutlet, you're getting the sauce at the same time. And it looks pretty cool too. And for our little lamb cutlets, nice and plump and juicy, we're just going to rest them in the yogurt. Look at that one, fabulous. A pop of colour and sweetness and crunch and a slight amount of heat from these fantastic pickles. We'll just drain off that pickling liquid and we'll just scatter them in and around our little cutlets. I love the chilli with this too, so add that on top of it. Pop of red, why not? Excellent. Finishing touches, some parsley, a few sprigs of parsley. And we all know mint and lamb, best mates. So on with a few sprigs of mint. That is a pretty impressive dish. And the best thing about it is it's so easy to whip up. I've got some extra pickles. Maybe I'll do this again next week. And look at those little grill marks on that lamb. <sighs> It's going to be extra juicy.